If you're hosting your data in Glide tables or Big Tables, you may need to access or edit your Glide data from within another service. And for that, you need the Glide API. Every Glide table or Glide Big Table has its own API that allows you to add, edit, and delete data. And if you're on the business or enterprise plans, you also have access to the get all rows method, allowing you to export data. And if you're using Big Tables, you can query that data with SQL. To access the Glide API, navigate to the relevant table in the data editor, right click, and then select show API. Here you can choose the method that you're after and Glide will give you examples for that method in JavaScript, Python, and curl. You can copy the code you need from here and copy your secret token here. Now, if you're using the add, edit, or delete methods, you'll see a mutate tables endpoint like this. In this video, we're gonna be showing an example of querying our data. So we're gonna need the get rows method, which uses the query tables endpoint. To construct our query, we're also gonna need the app ID, the table ID, the column ID we will be filtering on, for us that's the date column, and our secret token. So for this example, we're going to be covering querying a big table to get a subset of data, which is going to be between two dates. We'll allow our users to filter the data in Glide, prepare that as a query, send that data to make in a webhook, use make to query our big table for the data that we need, and then prepare and send that as a CSV in an email attachment. Let's look at this in detail. Here we have our sales data in a big table. We then have a screen that lets each user query that data. This is all constructed with a helper table and the result of that query updates live in the UI. The helper table also constructs a JSON payload with the JSON template column. Now this contains a SQL query with that same date range. This JSON is what we then send to make in our action. Once a user is happy with their search results, they can hit export and this triggers an action. And this action sends a webhook to make, sending along the app ID, the user's email, and the JSON with the SQL query that we prepared in the data editor. Over in make, our scenario receives that webhook with the data and query that we've already prepared, and then it sends that query as a post request to our big table, asking for that same date range. The Glide API then sends back that data, and Make uses a few other modules that pass the JSON and aggregates the data into a CSV file. This is then sent as an email attachment to the user that requested it. So that's a quick example of using the Glide API to query data from a big table. To learn more about the Glide API and its specifics, you can head over to our docs. And to learn how different members of our community are using it, you can head to our community.